Welcome back into the Alex G. Spano Center in Stockton this afternoon. What a ball game. We're at halftime. The Tigers up 46-45 over the Gonzaga Bulldogs. And a uh, great ball game. And I have the privilege and the pleasure to introduce the Tigers uh, president uh, here at the University of the Pacific, Christopher Callahan, uh, joining us at halftime. Uh, president Callahan, so wonderful to see you. I know you were here Thursday night as well. Uh, you're a big basketball fan. Uh, Tigers had a great win Thursday night. Uh, exciting here. And uh, tell us about what that win Thursday night and uh, how we're doing today, what that means for the university. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on, Don. And sure. I will tell you, Thursday night, my one takeaway is absolutely no surprise. This is a great team. This is a great team. As you know, it had some injuries. But when you look at the whole team, in my mind, the best backcourt in the, in the conference, uh, in Liz and Anaya, uh, I would argue the best center in the conference, um, and then uh, in, in Liz Elliott, and then you have CeCe who can score and get hot at any time. You have these young players coming in off the bench. You have Rosie and, and Maddie Ennis coming in with their energy and their veteran presence. That's a great, that's a great team. So what I'm seeing on Thursday night, what I'm seeing here, absolutely no surprise at all. Well, that's a good observation, and uh, you, you know what you're talking about too. You're a great basketball guy. And uh, I know your wife, Jean, uh, as well, very prevalent in the Stockton community. She's as much of an avid fan as you are. Uh, talk about her involvement uh, with the community and the leaders in the Stockton community and how they get involved with Pacific Athletics. Yeah. Well, Jean is everywhere, and she is such a big part of the University of the Pacific team. She's put together a team of women leaders made up of some of our women regents, vice presidents, deans, and supporters in the community, and they've been coming uh, to every, as a group, to every women's uh, Pacific basketball game. I will say, I don't want to jinx it, but they are 5-0. and Oh, <laughs> well, we got to keep bringing her then, and I know they're enjoying the game down here, uh, sitting along the baseline today, and uh, wearing their Pacific uh, colors as well. So, hey, it's always great to, to have that energy and extra support, and I know they're a very enthusiastic group. They are, they're not shy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to talk to you about a big announcement the university made recently, and the uh, U.S. Department of Education has designated the university as a Hispanic serving institution. Talk about how big of an impact that designation has and how it'll serve future students here at Pacific. Yeah, th thanks for asking, John. It's, it's unbelievably important. Gives us the ability to get more resources to support our Latino students. And as you know, college age people in California, 50% are Latino now. So we need to be able to bring in those students and support them and grow them and make them great Pacificans. And that's this HSI status is going to help us do that. All right. Well, uh, I'm just congratulations. I mean, I, I didn't uh, know those numbers, but it doesn't surprise me either. So uh, thank you for sharing that. And uh, uh, gosh, you became president back now. It's uh, three years, 2021, your third year of your tenureship here. What are some of the exciting things you're looking forward to yet? here at Pacific and some of the goals you still want to accomplish. Right. Well, Don, we're constantly growing, and actually we're one of the few universities that are actually growing enrollment. Uh, we had the most number of students in our 172-year history this year. Wow. 6,755, where a lot of our competitors, quite frankly, are going the opposite direction. So we're very proud of that. But at the end of the day, Don, Pacific is about the students, the student experience, and the success of our students. So everything we do is laser focused on that. And I will tell you, Coach Davis's team is a fantastic example of that. So we talked about their athleticism, which is extraordinary. Um, they are true student athletes. Yep. 3.6 GPA, yep. 12 of the 15 players are on the WCC honor roll. Yep. Uh, that's, that's extraordinary. And they also represent Pacific of today and tomorrow. We have, uh, we have students from four different countries, five different states, all different backgrounds, but they come together, they gel. They're fantastic representatives and ambassadors for Pacific. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. And uh, a lot of great things going on here on the university, and we're led by the right man, President Christopher Callahan of the University of the Pacific. Thanks for coming by and talking to us for a few minutes. Thanks for having me on, Don. All right, President Callahan of the University of the Pacific. We'll be back with the first half numbers for you with Celeste Gearing in just a moment. 